Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope, dope, dope video for you guys. So today we have our 7th rank 35. It's going to be Carl. Now we pushed this brawler with Ash Crying Man and with Real Canadian. So shout outs to them. They helped out a lot. Um, Carl was definitely one of the easier grinds as he's very, very, very well rounded. You can play him in almost every single mode, every map, at least for 3v3. Um, I found him to be an incredibly easy push, to be honest. Um, did not lose many games in the overall push. It was fairly easy. So what we're going to be doing is the normal rank 35 video. We're just going to run through some games. I'm going to show you guys the maps that we played, how we did it, how we managed to push Carl this high, everything about it, and obviously the final game. So let's get into it and let's show you guys what happened. Okay, so we're going to start off by showing today's grind. So unfortunately, we only have today in the battle log. So what we're going to be doing is showing you our games uh, what we did today was push on triple dribble. So on the first day, we actually pushed on Siege. I started off at 525 trophies with my Carl. So my Carl was very low. It's not something that we started with high. And we started on the Monday. It's currently Friday, but there are a lot of days that we decided to skip. We probably could have done it in a day or two, but it is very hard early season with the MM. So what we're doing with Carl is kind of just staying back and taking our time. What you want to do with Carl is kind of just wear your opponents down, stay back. You don't want to be too, too aggro unless you're playing like Siege and you want to get a bolt. And then when you feel like you can 100% take them out with your super, that's when you go in. So right here, you know, really good plays. We were able to push them back as a team. We're just going to take that one and walk it in. Real Canadian does have his super over here at the bottom of the screen. He's not using it though. If you guys are Sandy players and you guys just spawn off the start, always throw your super. I'm spinning, flashing my super, showing RC to throw his. Anyone here that I spin on, I will get an automatic kill. So I'm being a little bit patient with it. Again, they don't know where I am. I'm going to take my shot. Always shoot your shot, by the way, before you start spinning. I don't know what just happened, to be honest, but that was the end of the game. Ash put the ball in the net, and that ended it. So, oh, here we go, I guess. So, that's going to be the end of the first game. Apoc is pushing her Nita. It's probably pretty high right now. Ash, by the way, did get rank 35, so congratulations to Ash for getting rank 35. Rosa, I would shout out his YouTube, but I don't need to. You guys all already are sub to him, and if you're the one or two people who are watching this who aren't sub, make sure you guys go sub to Ash YouTube. He does have insane content. He's literally 20 times bigger than I am. He is insane. So with that being said, let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys what happened. Now going on to the next game, we're going to be showing you guys a game that we kind of got countered. So we're going to be facing Miguel, Flower Mate, and Korai. Flower Mate and Korai, I know them both very well. They're both good players. So I'm going to be put onto Flower here. So this is probably the worst matchup for us or the second worst um, when it comes to this team. If we can take the Nita, that would be awesome because we do some good damage against the Nita, but it's fine. We're just going to be over here against Flower. So basically the goal against Flower Mate is just not to let him come close to us. If he's going to come close, at least wear him down and spin onto him. You guys can see he's keeping his distance. He isn't doing much. I'm going to put the ball in the corner so I can take some more time with my shots. Um, again, I'm just trying to build up my super right now. I'm able to get it. So I'm going to take out Miguel very easily. I'm going to go back and try and get the ball. Cora is doing a really good job on Real Canadian. You guys can see RC finally gets his super. So he's going to use it. A decent super over there by Korai. He's going to continuously shoot so he can keep his super up. Ash with a good chip. RC is going to be able to get a kill. And at this point, I'm just going to roll in. It was an unnecessary roll because RC would have had the goal anyways. But I'm going to do some damage. And we're going to be able to pick up the first goal here. So now we're kind of just chilling in the middle. RC is doing a good job against Zanita. I'm doing a decent job on left. But Korai has a really, really good super that takes me down to one shot. There's a little bit of damage to Ash. He's got his speed going, so that's going to be bad. I knew going into that lane was a very bad idea. Don't know why I did it. They're able to get the goal. Um, this actually probably costed us a goal, but RC threw down his uh, his Sandy Storm, which allowed Korai to keep his fast speed, which just allowed him literally just to run to our net and get a super fast goal. So that was a good goal over there by Korai. Literally just carried over there. Rico is probably the weakness to our comp since we don't have too much range and Rico can outrange us here. Miguel is going to go down over there to Ash, who pops his super. Uh, Korai is also going to go down. Flower is trapped over here. He's going to try and make a play. He's actually going to do decently well considering the circumstances. He's going to get it. Well, he's not going to get out of it, but they're them as a team. They're going to get out of it. I'm kind of just chilling, trying to sneak up this left side over here. I got spotted. I go for the spin. I'm able to get the kill on Korai. Flower is going to jump on me, though, and get the kill. Ash is very close to being able to score. Unfortunately, though, he's not going to be able to, so he's just going to back up. 30 seconds left in the game. It's really, really, really close at this point. I'm going to pass the ball up just so I don't have to waste any of my shots. RC is going to throw down a super, and when you get a Sandy super down, you can't really get pushed back too far. So this is a really timely super by Real Canadian. Um, they we're able to do a really good job against Flower. RC is going to go down, but we're going to be able to pick up the kill. 
Game's going into overtime. Ash identifies that I have my super and he doesn't, so he's kind of just waiting. He's going to make the pass over to me. Left side is completely open. I'm going to take a shot at that left side, and I'm going to end the game over there. So this is probably one of the best games that we got for the rank 35 pushes. This was actually two games before Ash's rank 35, so this was definitely raising his blood levels, you know, getting him really, really stressed out, but we're going to be able to win that one. So let's hop into the next game and show you guys what happened. Okay, so we're going to show you guys the next game that we played. So we're going to go up against Rico here, Rico, Sandy, and Daryl. This is a pretty easy comp for us to face just because Daryl doesn't do too, too well on this map. There's a lot of walls, so he can't really do much. So if you see people playing Daryl, it's more likely that they're just kind of inexperienced and just hoping that Daryl's going to work out and be good for them. But we should be fine. So RC is doing a really good job on that right side. We're able to wear that Daryl down. Taking some shots over here on the Sandy, able to get the kill. I'm just going to pick up the ball over here, juke that super. Daryl's just going to go for a roll. It's not going to work out, and I'm going to put the ball in the net. Didn't really have to do anything, just juke two supers by baiting it out. It was fairly simple. Now I'm running up the middle over here. Good shots over there at the start by that Rico. He actually taps me and Ash fairly well. RC is doing a pretty good job over there. Um, they're going to go for a, a roll on that right side. Almost worked out, but it didn't end up working out for them. I'm able to also kill the Sandy, so I'm going to pass up the ball to Ash over here. Ash is just going to pop his super. Very, very easy. Only way to stop him would be to stun him. They have no stuns. We're able to win the game, and that's going to be a really easy game. So that's going to bring us to 1245. That gets us really close to rank 35. Sorry, crying can't play right now. So we're only two games off. Let's hop into the next game, which is probably the best game that we played, or at least one of them. Let's hop into it, and let's show you guys what happened. So here we go into the next game. We're going to be facing a Nita, a Rico, and a Mortis. So you guys might think this comp isn't that good, and to be honest, it's not that good. Just Nita does fairly well against our team. And Rico is probably the biggest counter to our team. They have a very good Rico on their team. So we're able to get one kill over there. I'm able to get another one on their Nita. So really, really good start. I'm actually going to try to pass the ball up. It's not really going to work out. So we're going to be kind of stuck moving back. And the Mortis is going to go for me. I have no way of killing the Mort. So the Mort's going to end up getting that kill. Ash is pretty trapped. There's a Mortis on one side, a bear coming from the other, a Nita on the other, and a Rico on the other. So he can't do anything. He's forced to move back. RC is kind of just getting pinched over there in the middle. Rico is using speed, so it's going to be very, very hard for me, at least as a Carl, to hit him. As he can kind of just juke out of the way. Carl doesn't really have one of the fastest shots in the game. We're going to go down over there. RC is going to be able to take him out very easily, though. He's going to be able to use a Sandstorm, which obviously is going to allow some sneak uh, abilities. Ash is going to mess up his wall bounce over there. Um, and that shouldn't be too detrimental. It should be fine, to be honest. I'm able to pick up a kill over there. Um, oh, no, I'm not. I thought it was on the Mortis, but I'm not able to get it. He's going to go for a trick shot or something. Um, RC is going to be able to make the save over there. Again, really good super by that Rico. That Rico is 100% carrying them right now. Ash is doing some good damage, but he's pretty trapped over there. Um, I'm doing some decent damage. Going to pass the ball back to the corner. Going to be able to kill one. Kill two. Unfortunately, this bear did not like the idea of me living, so we're going to go out with that bear. Um, RC is doing a good job. Again, this Rico is somehow still alive. Don't ask me how. He's just balling out over there. He's being an absolute god. Ash is just bringing the ball up over there. RC trying to charge his super. He's able to get it. Ash is going to pop his. So we're in a far better position than we were a few seconds ago. It's looking really good for us. Unfortunately, that, um, that Mortis did get a super over there, which kept him alive. And Slat went off. So we're actually finally able to kill their Rico Slat, which is huge. 30 seconds left in the game, so we can't be giving up any goals at this point. Uh, the Mortis is looking to try and make a play, trying to do something special since we have defense on lock. Unfortunately, he's not able to, though. RC gets his super, obviously really good. Trying to sneak up this left side, wasn't able to. I realized that the source of this team obviously stopping us is this Rico, so I just decided to kind of focus the Rico. Ball is going to be passed up by Ash. I'm just going to go and spin on the Rico, even though it doesn't really matter at this point. We're able to take him out. Ash is going to score with seven seconds left in the game. And after this great game, which was very close, which their Rico just honestly just hard carried them in, we're able to get the number, uh, the one nothing win. And that's going to bring us to 1248. We only need one more win to get us to rank 35. So let's get into that rank 35 game and show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go, the rank 35 game, and it's going to be against CM Punk, Slayer, NA, and Ballot. So these are three players that you see in ladder all the time. You actually saw them always in beta as well. So they're good players. Slayer, NA, probably in matchmaking for a long time. Unfortunately, goes AFK right off the start. CM Punk goes for a super. Very unaware, uh, very bad awareness by him. He kind of just left the goal open, so I'm able to get that goal. And that's a really quick start for us. So they're probably pretty pissed off at this point. Um, Slayer is moving now, obviously. I have the ball. I'm going to put it in the corner. I have an infinite amount of shots, so it doesn't matter. I'm just kind of putting it in the corner for now. Ash is going to move up, doing some good damage. 
I'm just gonna move the ball forward and use my super. I knew kind of that I was gonna die, but I just wanted to score. Again, bad play by CM Punk, just somehow moving out of the way. And that is going to end my rank 35 crowns. This is like the only game I didn't get star player. Real Canadian got it. But we ended up getting the dub, and here we go, rank 35. Carl, my seventh rank 35. Don't know who I'm going to do next. Probably going to end up being Daryl. But anyways, I'm super excited to continuously rank 35. Uh, we got Max coming up. We're going to do some videos on Max. And I haven't done a video on B yet just because I haven't played her too much. But we're going to play her. We're going to get her high up in trophies. And we're going to make a video for you. Tell her where, tell you guys where to play her, where not to, etc. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That is going to be all. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. See you there. Peace.